Lastly, the importance of the virgin birth is that the Bible says so. The Bible says so. The Bible says that, that Jesus will be born of a virgin in Isaiah 7, 14. Um, and we have to be able to rely on the Word of God. If you can't trust and rely on the Word of God, and if you start to doubt things that seem incredible, then you are in a slippery slope. Because it's the, it's the same thing with creation. If you struggle with Genesis 1-1, that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, the rest of the Bible is not going to work for you. You have to believe that God created the heavens and the earth in order for the rest of it to work. Same thing if you struggle with Isaiah 7, 14, that a virgin can be born, can give birth to a child, then, then the rest of Jesus is not going to work for you. You have to start there. And if you question the Bible at one point, you will question the Bible at other points. Okay? And so um, 2 Samuel 7, 28. And now, O Lord God, you are God, and your words are true, and you have promised this good thing to your servants. Um, we have to be able to trust the word of God to be what it says, right? 2 Samuel 7, 28. Psalm 33, 4 says, For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. The word of the Lord is upright. You have to be able to trust the Bible, to trust what it says, to believe the word of God. Revelation 22, 6. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true, and the Lord God will not be prophet is sent. Right. The, this word is faithful and true. You can trust the Bible. If the Bible says something about Jesus, then it's true about Jesus. And you have to be in a place in your faith where you believe that. If you start to question what the Word of God says, then you are no longer submitted to the Word of God. It is no longer above you, and you are no longer looking to it for truth. You are instead standing above it and saying, I am greater than you, and I can decide if what you've said is true. As soon as that orientation happens, you've lost, you've lost a right belief in God. And, and that means that you are believing that you are on equal plane with God and can judge his word. Or even worse, that you're higher than God and can determine if what he has said is good. So we have to maintain this orientation where the Word of God is above us, and we look to the Word of God for truth, and we believe what it says, right? And the Word of God says that Jesus was born of a virgin, and the Word of God says that God created the heavens and the earth. So we have to trust it. We have to believe it. Okay? There you go. That's why Arenas made such a big deal out of it, and we must as well. Any questions?